Stormy here. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a tactic that I use personally on my London City FC save, which is going to be discontinued on here on the YouTube channel. But I've been working day and night to perfect this tactic for you guys, and it is perfect. This is like the golden ticket for a save. It is absolutely phenomenal. I've won the league back to back on 100 to 1 odds. I've secured three straight promotions. First promotion was not using this tactic. I had to switch to it midway through a season and I have perfected it to the point to where I am doing the impossible with this team because in reality the level of ability is not up to where it needs to be for us to compete in the Skybet Championship but hey we're here now, and we have won Skybet League 2 and Skybet League 1 on 100 to 1 odds. So that is what we will be going over in today's video. If you guys do happen to enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is 100% free, so why not hit that sub button? I'll be linking the tactic down below in the Discord that is in the description, so that is where you guys will be able to find this tactic at. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So, like I said... We won the league with this tactic back to back on 100 to 1 odds. Won Skybet League 2 in 2024 2025. We finished top of the league, of course, with 93 points. We were supposed to finish in 23rd, and we finished in first on 93 points with this tactic. And then we won Skybet League 1 last season in 2025 2026. On 98 points, we did absolutely phenomenal. This tactic is absolutely insane. Very, very good. It's allowed a lot of players to overachieve uh, for sure because I've signed players really, really cheap that people did not find value in, and I made them absolute units with this tactic. One of those players being Adam O'Reilly. I bought him from... Plymouth for 69,000 pounds and he played what you guys will see in a moment the central midfielder on attack role within this tactic and he scored 20 goals and had seven assists in his first season the second season he was more the backup uh, to the other guy that I ended up bringing in but he still netted eight goals and one assist and that guy that ended up coming in in ended up stealing the starting job from him was a man by the name of Gary Dawson, who was a new gen. He ended up having 10 goals and two assists and I ended up being able to sell him from his great season because he came on at one point off the bench all three times, had two goals and an assist and it was absolutely phenomenal. And it allowed me to make a million pounds off of him. And then there was a striker that Watford were not going to play. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring him in on loan. His name was Kelvin Afori, and he scored 25 goals and had 9 assists. This is a two-striker formation, and he was the main man scoring the goals. He was absolutely phenomenal. The team was phenomenal overall, and it absolutely blew me away. So, looking at the tactic, it is called the 4132 Dynamo. It is absolutely unreal. This is probably my favorite tactic that I've used all year. Now... You guys may think that this is pretty similar to Zealand's tactic. It is the same formation, but plays very, very different from his. Very different. Because I, I wanted to use a flat midfield three, uh, and originally the deep line playmaker was up here. But then I was like, you know what? I'm not liking that too much, so I moved it down here. And it became like how Zealand's tactic is that he uses with his floor store for team on Twitch. Now, this tactic is absolutely unreal because it allows your players and your team to overachieve big time with how good it is. If you were to use this with, say, a Man City of Liverpool, you would absolutely dominate the Premier League. If you used it with PSG, you probably would not lose a single game. But using it with teams like my team that I was 100 to one odds to win the league and I did it back to back two times in a row it is absolutely absurd so the tactic is called the 4132 dynamo 
It is absolutely incredible. I originally had the deep line playmaker up here playing the shadow striker role, and I was like, you know what? Not really liking it. I feel it's way too attacking. So I put him down here as the deep line playmaker on defend, and let me tell you, it changed everything. It made the whole tactic tick. It is a very, very fun tactic to use because if you were managing a Man City or a Liverpool, you would dominate the Premier League. If you were managing PSG, you probably would not lose a single game. But if you were managing a team like mine where you aren't supposed to really do well in the league, you're 100 to 1, 100 to, 1 to win the league, and this tactic allows you to do it, this tactic is absolutely insane. I believe it is the golden ticket for this year's FM22. The narrow formation, narrow tactics are kind of that golden ticket this year, but this one takes the cake out of all of them that I have created and or used. Now, getting things started up top, advance forwards on attack, both of them, all that they have is take more risks added. Then we've got a central midfielder on attack with take more risks and move it into channels. What is nice about the central midfielder on attack, he almost acts as a super duper deep striker. It is a lot of fun. You guys will see it in the match engine here in a moment. Both box to box midfielders have take more risks, crosses aimed at center, and move into channels. Deep line playmaker on defend only has take more risks. Wing backs on attack on both sides have take more risks, crosses aimed at center. Central defenders on defend, both of them, all that they have is tackle harder. And the goalkeeper on defend was left as is. It is a very, very simple tactic. And I mean, a simplicity sometimes is the best thing to use. Now, mentality wise, it is played with an attacking mentality. If you are down by a goal or if you're level, I will get into that in a moment because that is when you do change up the mentality. But in possession, it is played fairly wide, overlap on the left and the right, play out from the defense and use higher tempo with low crosses. Then once in transition, counter press and counter and distribute to the defense by only distributing to the fullbacks and the center backs. And then once out of possession, it's a much higher line of engagement, a standard defensive line, more often trigger press and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Now, when you are down by a goal or your level and you're trying to go for that win or when you're down by a goal and you're trying to go for the draw, this is what you do. You take your attacking mentality, you go to very attacking. In possession, you switch it to fairly narrow, higher tempo, goes to extremely high tempo. You then do shorter passing directness. But if you have on very attacking, if it wants to go to that, it then goes to slightly shorter passing directness. And then you can also put on shoot on sight if you are struggling with shots. In transition, you put on distribute quickly. And then once out of possession, you put that standard defensive line up a little bit and much more often pressing intensity, a.k.a. the trigger press. And a majority of the time, that will get you a goal within the next 10 minutes. Um, so don't leave it for too late in the game or else you are running the risk of either losing or holding on to that draw. Now there is another way that you can, you know, kind of try and get that goal if you are needing a goal to either draw or if you're trying to win. And that is simply just take one of the strikers, move them down to the attacking midfield position. Now, you can either use an attacking midfielder on attack or shadow striker. Now, the shadow striker, it still acts like a striker. Um, but the attacking midfielder on attack, it definitely allows them to sit a tiny bit deeper than the shadow striker would and worry more about the playmaking side. Uh, so if you are looking for that and you are struggling with chances, I would suggest just sliding down one of those strikers to the attacking midfield position and you will be perfect. So now that we've looked at the tactic, I highlighted a few players and what they are able to do with this tactic. Let's see how it performs within the match engine.
Well, that tactic looks absolutely incredible. It really allows the team to perform well. I mean, they, they won the league back-to-back on 100-to-1 odds. It's absolutely insane. This tactic is phenomenal. I mean, it, it fits the team perfectly. I mean, it, it is the perfect system for what I uh, wanted to do with this team. So it is absolutely insane. Definitely recommend giving it a go. I will be releasing a video later this week on how I break down how to win an FM22 because that is kind of how I have pulled this off. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is 100% free, so why not hit that sub button. And until next time, have a good one. Bye.